watching with us today. I have hope that you have had a great week so far. Now remember, last week you we ended with you guys sharing some awesome Lego things that you have done online. How many of you have had a great week so far? Raise your hand. Come on. I know you have. Tell me all about it. I've had a great week so far. Now, I want you to look to somebody close to you, whoever's around you, and tell them about your week. Go on, tell them how was your week? Was it good? Was it bad? Did you do something fun? I'll wait. Go on. Did you tell them? Did you tell them all about the fun stuff you did? All right. Well, let me share something exciting with you. Remember how Elijah showed you last week? That really cool shopping mall that they built? Well, let me tell you what Elijah did. This is how my week went. You know I'm a teacher. So do you see this really cool apple pointer right here? He decided he was gonna be Kung Fu Panda and start going wham, 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 and destroyed that Lego house. And then brother got all upset and blah, 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 blah. But that was my week. It was great but exciting and kind of scary with some Kung Fu Panda going on all at the same time. So I hope you told somebody around you how great your week has been, something exciting God has done for you. And again, I'm so excited that you are here. So today we are going to talk about something just as exciting as we did last week. Now, before we do, I'm going to draw you a picture. Now, here's the thing. Look real close. Listen real close. Don't laugh at my pictures. No matter what you do, you cannot laugh at my picture, okay? When you think you know what I'm drawing, raise your hand. Well, you can't raise your hand because you're there. So look around you and say, I know, I know, I know, I know, and yell as loud as you can so I might just hear you, okay? But remember, no laughing at my pictures. Okay, let's see what I got. And don't laugh at my colors either because they might be a little messed up. So I'm gonna do this here. Remember, no laughing at my pictures. Here is me with this big film. I'm gonna go here and out here and up here and turn here back here okay again don't laugh when you know what I'm drawing tell me all about it tell somebody close to you what you're thinking I am drawing don't okay you see do you have any ideas yet along the way there's all these cool things. There's a really cool bridge that you drive over. Don't laugh at my drawing. There's lots of these over here. Do you see what I'm drawing yet? Don't laugh at it. Now, let me see if I can add anything along the way. There are probably some of these along the way. Some of 
these along the way. We have a really cool thing over here. Hmm. You have any idea what I'm drawing yet? Let's see here. This, do you have any guesses? This is my house. Yep, that's Miss Rebecca's house. Then you leave my house, you go down, you turn, you get on the road, go over the bridge, come again, go up, go through a bunch of houses, and this is the Lee's house. Now, do you have a guess what this might be? This, if you said a map, you are correct. I drew a map from my house to the Lee's house. And it doesn't take long, it's just like five minutes to get there. But this map is a little bit of what we're going to be talking about today. Now, I have a challenge question for you. Are you ready? Listen up. Here it is. My older friends, this is really hard, okay? What is a, let me write it up here. What is a GPS? Now, not everybody answer at once. What is a GPS? Let's see here. Hmm. I choose you. A global positioning system? You are correct. I even got a cool trophy for you. And I'll give it to you virtually. Here you go. Whoops. I hope I didn't break it. But a GPS. Now, how many of you have ever gotten lost? park, at the mall, in your house, in your neighborhood. It doesn't feel good to get lost, does it? And a GPS is a map in your phone, in a book, and it actually tells you which way to go. Kind of like on the Toy Story 4 movie where you have Forky and the unicorn and all of them at the end and they're saying, turn right here, turn right here, turn left here. That is a GPS and it tells you which direction to go. And today we're going to talk about the best GPS there is. Do you know what it is? Take a guess. If you said Bible, you are correct. The Bible is the best GPS there is. And it actually tells us which way to go in life. And it tells us everything we need to know. The Bible is the best GPS there is. Now, I want you to look up here at this verse and we're gonna talk about it very, very quickly. But I want you to read it with me. So put on your best voice and let's listen and read it together. Second Timothy 3.16 All scripture is inspired by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, for training in righteousness, so that the man of God may be adequate, equipped for every good work. Now, I want you to give somebody a high five. I'm going to give you an air five. Because you did such a great job reading it. And there's four words that our GPS tells us it's good for. It's good for teaching. Everybody say teaching as quiet as you can. Teaching. And teaching tells you how, like I'm doing. I'm teaching you. And what I do Monday through Friday, I'm a teacher. I teach people how. The Bible is good for teaching us how to do things. This word, reproof or rebuke, that's a hard word, so let's just say it. Reproof or rebuke. And that's, the Bible is good for telling us when we've done something wrong. And I want everybody to yell this one, correcting. So yell it as loud as you can. Correcting! Good job! And that means it gets us back on the right track. And then the last word, training in righteousness. Say it all silly. Training in righteousness. Good job. And that just means that this is God's guide for us to do the best that we can. 
So our GPS, and you have it. Hang on, let me just find it. Hmm, where is my GPS? Oh, right here. Today, most of you have a cell phone. And if you look on it, see, you can see my GPS right here. GPS. If I type in heaven, how do I spell heaven? H E W, no wait, A V E N. Yes, heaven. If I type it in, it says no results. This GPS doesn't tell me the directions on how to get to heaven. But this GPS, your Bible, is the best GPS that there is. It tells you how to live your life, which way to go, it tells us when you went the wrong way, and it tells you everything you need to know. It is your map of life, and it literally tells you everything. So guys, only God's word can tell us how to get there. Not your GPS here, not your mom or your dad, not anybody else, but God's word is the one thing we can always, always look at to know that we're doing the right thing and what God wants us to do. So I want to pray with you guys. I'm so thankful that you were here and you were listening to us with your best listening ears. So I just want to pray for you and pray that you've had a good week. So I want everybody, all of you right now to sit as quiet as you can. I want you to bow your head and close your eyes and fold your hands. Not because we have to. We can pray anywhere. We can have church anywhere. But we don't want to get distracted by little Johnny over there kicking and flopping like Elijah was. So bow your heads, close your eyes, and let's really give God our best, okay? Dear God, thank you so much for allowing all of these friends to watch with us online today, Lord. I pray that you will continue to be with each and every one of them. Lord, I pray that you will help them memorize the books of the Bible. Pray that you will help them learn to study the GPS that you've given us here. Lord, I pray that you will help give them the courage to stay strong and tell somebody about you this week. Keep them safe and healthy, and we love you and we praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys. Again, thank you for being here. I'm so excited that you were watching with us, and I want you to remember <clears throat> that you need to be memorizing the books of the Bible. And there's going to be a song, you can watch that song again, that helps you memorize the books of the Bible. And I also want you to remember to start journaling. Go back and look at this verse, you older friends, and write it down. What does this verse say? And what does this verse mean to me? Okay, guys, we have an awesome challenge for you this week. Last week, we did a really cool Lego challenge. And we asked you guys to get with your moms, your dads, or whoever, and build a really cool Lego set and post it online for us to see. And we saw some really cool pictures of you guys making some Lego stuff. Well, this week, we have a really, really cool thing. It's a race! Who loves a race? Me! I love a race! Yes, you I did. love a race. So, I love a race. this race is called an inchworm race. Now, I don't know what that means. And this worm, though, is a paper worm. And you guys can make your inchworms by clicking on the link below. Now look around you. Who do you see? Your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister. You can make these with them. And it's gonna be a lot, a lot of fun. So I want you to meet our friends. And these are really cool friends. This is Pinky. And then we have Mr. Pickle. I, like, I, like I don't like pickles. And then we have Mr. Purple Flower. Hi, everybody. And these guys are going to race. Now, this isn't, this, this isn't just any race. Thanks. You Thank have you. to use Yay. a straw. Now, everybody go. Look to your, somebody close to you and go. <gasps> That's how you have to blow in these straws. If you go like the big bad wolf, <gasps> then you're gonna blow your inchworm off today. So, but before we start our race, 
we have to get warmed up for it. All right, everybody, put your inchworms and your straws down and let's do our exercises. Ready, stand up first. Everybody, ready, reach up to the sky. Now reach down to our toes. Up to the sky. Give somebody a high five. High five, high five, high five. Now, do your breaths, ready, go. Up. Scooch over so Jonah has room. All right, here we go. Oh wait, remember your hands have to be behind your back. On your mark, get that hand behind that back. <laughs> get that hand behind it, ready? Mark, get set, go. Go. Ah, my breath. to post, like, and share our video for today. Bye guys, have a good week.